Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can use one pin on your Arduino to control two different things where one would be on and the other would be off and then if the other the other one was off the other one would be on. Hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> But um, how we're doing this, and what I have set up right here, I'm just running the blink sketch. And I've got uh, the Arduino board hooked to pin 13. And you can see I'm alternating between two LEDs, but I'm only hooked up to one pin. How I am doing this is I'm using a NOT gate, N-O-T gate. Or they're also known as hex inverters. Now the one I'm using is a 7404 hex inverter. This um, was an old Radio Shack part that I picked up long ago and never used. Um, you can still get these, they just won't be from Radio Shack, of course. But um, you go on like eBay and Amazon or Deals Extreme, places like that, you'll find these. They're, uh, they're real common. And even if it's a slightly different model, it'll work. You just look at your ratings on the back. And this one has a maximum supply voltage of 5.25 volts, which works perfectly fine with the Arduino board. And uh, also the, uh, <clears throat> the input logic inputs need to be a minimum of 2 volts. So this works fine with this. And you could also use this with a lily pad or some of the other smaller Arduinos that don't have as many pins. And that's one of the benefits of using one of these hex inverters is you can control two different devices off of one pin as long as only one device is on at a time. Now the schematic for this I will have on the, uh, the website. Just look in the description below and you'll find a link to that. I'll have the schematic uh, on there and some pictures and maybe I'll throw up a picture of the chip the back of the uh, package and some other stuff as well but uh, this is really easy to hook up I'm just running pin 13 into pin 1 of the hex inverter and then I'm also from pin 1 of the hex inverter I'm running the the, uh, the green LED and then from the output of the hex inverter I'm running to the red now how this works is when the input pin is high the output pin is low when the input pin is low the output pin is high so it just reverses whatever logic is coming into the chip that's um uh, that's how simple it is and just flashing leds here this is just an example just for people uh beginners that uh, haven't used these before you most likely would uh, run into some other application like you were trying to control two different DC motors or fans or something where only one would need to be on at a time and you were kind of limited on pens. This would be the perfect way to go. And like I said, especially if you're using like the lily pad or some of the smaller Arduinos that don't have as many pens. Um, if you were using a Mega, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't need this, but uh, you know, if you're using one of the small Arduino boards and uh, this little chip wouldn't take up much more room and you have six of them gates on here so you could uh, have six different uh, devices alternating or you could just hook up six different LEDs flashing back and forth but yeah that's all there is to it it's just set up where pin 13 is running to pin 1 of the chip and it's also running to the uh, the green LED so when it comes on it's making pin 2 of the chip go low and it's turning this LED on then when digital pin 13 goes low LED the green LED turns off pin number 2 on the hex inverter goes high then because pin 1 is low and turns the red on and we're just alternating flashing the one second this is just the basic um, blink that um, is in your Arduino ID examples so well, with that, I don't think there's really much else to go over. Like I said, this is just to give you some information if you've never used these before. So you could um, start doing some more advanced things with your Arduino projects. So I will have the schematic for this on the website and the parts list. Um, like I said, there's other hex inverters you could use. And I'll also put um, 
probably put this chart up on there too. It shows some of the more common logic gates because there's like the AND gate, OR gate, the NOT gate, which is this one here, um, the NAND gate, and NOR gates. And those are the common, very common ones. And in my future episodes, I'm going to go over a few more of these and how um, you can use them with the Arduino board. So with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you have a great day and have fun building.